next battle. Next battle. Stand straight and eyes front! The Warlord is arriving and will tolerate no disorder. Better. The heft is good. The balance, too. The hilt is still a bit tight. Let us see if the edge is better. Whoever bears arms against us is not one of us. You chose the wrong side, my friend. Judgment belongs to Allah, not you. It's still sticking. Make the blood grooves deeper. Time to put the dog down! We should free the others. Then you can lead your men outside. I will deal with Wasif. Outside? Don't be foolish. This is the perfect beginning. We are going to pull this place down. Was it taken from an eagle who fell out of the sky? A symbol of freedom. A word you did not use often. And never will again. Oh. So this is freedom. Yet, I do not see any way out.
will have to fight our way out. Our revolution begins now! With me! This is a good day. I will meet you at the Bureau. Hmm. Mention the cat, he will come. And here he is. Go softly, come softly, so the cat does not gore you. You have honored your word. But he flies dead, and all who hear of it, hear of me. I regret we could not save Beshi. He was a brave man. Already they tell his story throughout Baghdad. He will free more by his death than he did in life. Freedom has a price. The only question is whether we will pay it. Beshi was proud to. I have much to do. I would wish peace upon you both, but we know that is not in your future. Nor mine. I fear Ali is right. Nothing will stop his rebellion now. Maybe nothing should. The things he says. At the garrison, we saw Wasif arguing with Governor Muhammad ibn Tahir. Muhammad? That is odd. I will keep eyes on him. Araka Lahekan. I cannot keep them waiting. Are they aware, your companions, that their hunter is hunted in his sleep? If it were in my sleep alone, I could bear it. But it followed when I fled Anbar. Now it stalks me when I slay those I hunt. The ones from the palace, in the masks. Four are dead at my hand. The last, the head of the snake. We'll join them soon. Why slit its throat when you could loosen its tongue? What? Why would I- The jinni only struck in sleep. It never dogged you by the day until you reached into that chest. The masked ones prize what lay within. The ancient object that woke at your touch. They may hold more answers living than dead. I hunt my enemies. I do not break bread with them. I took an oath, Nihal. How can you hunt when you are hounded? If you could walk the dark unburdened, you could better serve the light. I stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent, not from the order of the ancients. If you will not ask your foes, then at least ask your friends what slept in that chest, and why they sought it. You took your time. Did you wait up, Master? I wait for no man. You look tired. Nothing a little adventure won't fix. What news? Ali thinks the time is right to attack the palace. The Oyun are distracted and the people divided. Divided how? Some are claiming the new Khalifa stole the throne from Abu Abdullah, son of al mutabakil What do you know of him? Little. He was there at the palace, the night his father. 
the night I reached into that chest. Master, have we learned anything more about the object within? Why do you ask? It seems a shame we know so little about something the Order prized so much. Should we not seek to know our enemies better, the better to defeat them? Marhaban Basim, have I interrupted? No. We must turn to the task at hand. Of course, Abu Abdullah. Rebecca tells me you have met his mother, Qabiha. I did. I think she could be first among our foes. She, or Arib the poet, or Muhammad the governor. All three had ties to our enemies. Muhammad ibn Tahir. His cousins govern the land on which Alamut sits. Their protection is all that shields us from our enemies. I cut our enemies' legs beneath their master. Let me strike while their stumps are bloody. I will unmask them and learn their intent. Basim is right. We must act swiftly. Go to the Round City. Investigate all three, but take no further action. Reports back to me atop the house of the previous hill. You can tell your masters I've had copies made. Shred that page, slit my throat. Our bargain stands. My masters? The masked cabal, the order of... I don't care. Are you not in their service? Are you not in their service? I serve the Khalifa. I serve Allah. And I do it without hiding my face. Now, if you'll excuse me. Why were you giving commands to Asif at Turkey? A member of the order? The brute was stoking the fire of a thousand rebellions. Thankfully, someone spared me the trouble of putting him down. A hidden one, I heard. Hmm. Are you the one to thank? I read your letters. You forced your cousins to remove their protection from Alamut. You sold us to our enemies. And bought peace to Baghdad. You've already helped yourself to the receipt. Abu Abdullah's oath of allegiance. What does he have to do with anything? His ambition would have torn the Khalifa apart. I offered the Order Alamut, they gave me assurance he'd threaten us no more. So to trap a fox, you loose a wolf. The Order will see Baghdad burn, Governor. History will judge you for this. History can hang me for it. I'll leave this world knowing that there is courage in compromise. There is also cowardice. How old are you? Twenty? I was about your age when I came to this city. Righteous beyond reproach. What happened? I grew up. If you really wish to spare Alamut, turn that blade on your enemies. Give me their name. The one you brokered the deal with. I could. But if you fail, then I die. And I'd prefer not to. Now, I have things to do. No hard feelings. Guards! Mm. <gasps> Tamahel! Do I know you? I doubt you would. This is my first day. I would hate to be late. Makira! Assalamu alaikum! You know him, Makira? Um, uh, I... What? You have forgotten me already! No, no, I... I'm sorry, it has been a long... That is all right, fair one. My face is quite forgettable. Unlike your own. Farah is expecting me. Between us, she terrifies me. Please do not make me late for her. Let him in, Abbas. Barakallahu fiki, Sayyidati. What are you doing? Makira! I was just... Breaking into Kabiha's office? 
You are no eunuch. Leave now, or I'll tell Nasreen. I'll tell Farah. Tell them what? That you let me in here? I cannot imagine they will be pleased about that. You are a Kahramana, no? You serve the concubines every need. When is the last time someone asked what you needed? Someone who would not judge. Someone you could forget was ever here. There must be something you need, Makira. Or want. There is something. Abbas at the gate. He... He has eyes for Farah. The Umuvalad. He doesn't look at me. But Farah uses a paint to make her eyes bigger. And if I could have some, I think he might... Say no more. I am at your service. Where can I find this paint? The storage room, but no one is allowed in. Apart from Nasreen. Farah trusts her with everything, even her magic potion. Farah has a magic potion? She has Nasreen carry it. Tells her when she wants a sip. It makes her breath foul. Still, I'd give anything to try it myself. And so you shall. And in exchange, Makira? What will you give me? The key to that office. Eye paint and magic potion. Your wish is my command. Here you are. Oh, thank you. The others say I'm too young for paints and potions. But I'm not too young to know why they use such things. Of course not. Now the key. They only know more than me because they've all read this book. The garden and its mysteries. It's all about biology, the body, its secrets. It is quite infamous. Have you read it? No. Farah keeps it in the Khalifa's quarters. They're on the roof and strictly forbidden. Makira, we had an agreement. Please, if you could just get the book and bring it to my room. It's in the east corner on the left. Oh, fine. But then the key. The book is in your room. Now... So? Are my eyes bigger? Huge. Makira, I need the key. This potion, it... it gives you confidence. I feel like I could take on the world. Yes, I am familiar with this potion. We had a bargain, Makira. The key. Now. Wait. You have to return the potion to Nasreen. If Farah finds out it's gone, she'll be furious. Then the key is yours, I swear. Fine. Drink some water while I am gone, will you please? It is done. I am done. Thank you. Funny, I have a bit of a headache. What happens now? You give me the key. Oh, right. Um... You do not have it. You are afraid of Kabiha. What? No, no. Her star is fallen. They all say it. It's just... I was having fun. Here it is. <gasps> what is this? What did you give her? She always drank from it. She asked me to give it to her. It's harmless. You call this harmless, Nasreen? You should go. Now, give me the key. What happened to her? Me. You really shouldn't have left me alone with that flask. I'll search the rooms. You with uh, me. I did nothing. I did not hurt her. What did you do? Relax. No one is looking at us. They will be far too busy with the book they find in Nasreen's room. Nasreen's room? The garden and its mysteries. Nothing body, just the study of native herbs, their properties medicinal, poisonous, cosmetic. Belladonna, deadly nightshade. It does make the eyes look lovely in small doses. Same, I had to waste it all on her. What? You saw them? Farah and Nasreen, dripping poison in everyone's ear, spreading lies and rumors about my mistress. Kabiha. One dead, the other disgraced. 
No one will hear them now. Yes, Yala. What are you? Loyal. In Kabiha's absence, I defend her throne from those who would supplant her. Her office is empty. She has abandoned you, Makira. You serve a faithless mistress. She will return from the palace when the danger has passed. You really should not have told me that. It makes no difference. You will never find her. Now, play nice. There are children present. Nice uniform, by the way. Suits you. You will not bar me from my guests. This is my house. Bought with my generosity. Bought by my genius. For tokens, favors, and personal dedications, you may find Sayeda Arib in the garden after her recital. Good day. You must be her patron. It is an honor, Sayyidi. If I may, I seek a private audience with the poetess. Do you? I have been moved beyond words by her... words. Symmetry of sky and sea. I only wish to express my sincere admiration. Pretty words. Nearly as pretty as hers, and just as false. We both know what mask she wears, don't we? Mask, Sayidi. Enough, Sayidi. I know what you are, and I know why you've come. You think I haven't seen you skulking in the shadows. She's no longer party to your plots, your secret meetings, your foolish nicknames. I have scrubbed her clean of them. For I have set a watch on her door. My men dog her recitals. Every letter she's had of you I have shredded or sent back. Sent back? You will find them piled at the postal bureau. Burn them. Bury them. Do what you will. You can choke on them for all I care. As be you ocean, desert, cobra, dove, all shapes and humors will I embrace. Hello there. Have we met? Come, don't be shy. I rarely bite and I never leave a mark. <laughs> it seems there's no privacy in the public eye. How came you by that letter? Who put you up to this? I work in the dark to serve the light. <laughs> I've met the men who serve the light. It seems its glare oft leaves them blind. Are your masters so blinkered and bumbling? You were warned, you son of a dog. Come, Arib. We will set no tongues to wagging here. Yours is the tongue that will not still itself, even when I beg for silence. You spurned the counsel of he who raised you, and without whom you would still be nothing? I raised myself. I authored myself. I have written myself into history. You are banished from my pages. Now be gone. How can I leave you to walls such as these? You're a woman alone, unarmed. Words are weapons enough for me. Then let us see what defense they offer. Take her. There is somewhere the Sayida needs to be. And you are delaying her. It seems that words can summon shields. We will need to make this quick. <laughs> Arib has left for her secret meeting. I must hurry. You should bring him before the Mazalim court. But he thinks only of my reputation, Sara. To safeguard success, I must be palatable, discreet. He fears I am too proud. <laughs> you? Never. I write that love is feral and free, unbound by stricter or statute. 
Should I not practice what I publish? Practice makes perfect. It also makes enemies. So be it. But let me choose them. Courtiers, caliphs, patrons, partners, so many men have tried to decide my enemies. <laughs> and friends. Though Allah knows I once chose poorly, he hid himself well. And the poet needs patrons, even one so great as al -Falab. Well, I have my pick. Good. There's trouble times ahead. I will be fine. I have survived six caliphs. I will survive... Six more. Don't worry, Sarah. I'll kiss the rings I need to kiss, but I will not be bound again. Not by anyone. Arib is innocent. The governor less so. He made a deal with the Order and removed his cousin's protection from Alamut. Tabban. Just as we had feared. We've been bared to our enemies. Yes. In exchange for Abu Abdullah's renouncing his claim to the throne. He seized his crown to suit the Order, led by... His mother. Gabiha is the head of the snake. Where is she now? Fled to the palace. If we act now, we can spare Alamut. Give me the feather, master. Gabiha will meet swift justice. And I will be the one to deliver it. What? What are you saying? That a more seasoned hand is needed. The last time you entered a palace, you left it in disarray, to put it lightly. Have I not proven myself since? Master, I have earned the right. Earned what? The right to kill? No, no, that is not. A blow from one of us is a blow for all of us. Or does your ego demand the honor? It is not ego, Master. It is duty. I took an oath to leave my life behind, to walk the shadows and to serve the light. I mean to. Gabiha is more dangerous than her underlings. Strike quickly and end this. Do not hesitate. Blood from a stone. Who is she to keep you from Kabiha, or to tell you when to strike? My master and mentor, without whom I would be nothing but a corpse in the streets of Anbar. You spy on me now? Always. So you will swallow your questions, strike at her enemies, serve without complaint. And live your life dogged by El Jinni in the hovel you once hoped to escape. You know where to find me when your duty is done. Many dead or disappeared. And each trail of blood leads back to you, Al-Bahamut, the last mask to be lifted. You set Wasif on the rebels, unleashed Al-Ghul, sold your son's crown to seize Alamut. And all for what? Some worthless token of a long-forgotten age. No matter. I will see you at the palace. I will cut the head from the snake.